according to the clock on the wall it's just before quarter past two it doesn't have the specific slashes to say uh, which minute it is exactly but i am willing to, uh, I'll, I'll guess i'll go on a limb i was going to say i'm willing to say i'll go on a limb and say that it's 13 past two in the afternoon i can't actually find out on the phone 12 past two according to the time on the phone and i have had enough that's those are the thoughts that have gone in my mind just like how when i had that final straw with my eating that's those are the words i had that's those are the words i used i'm going through the financial equivalent of that i have 200 pounds in my name and i was i spoke about this um a lot closer to the situation or closer to after just um being at the gym so this is more uh, this is less of a raw take than you will see in the uh, in today's daily food log which will come out tomorrow but yeah very basically i've had enough and it's about time i get my qualifications very basically that those are the thoughts that was going on in my mind and i spoke about it for about maybe 15 minutes i i don't know but I um, was doing some quad extensions at around 20 kg. I did some hamstring curls at, or uh, they call it leg curls at the gym I go to, at maybe 20 kg as well. I genuinely forgot how to use it. I, I genuinely forgot. It, um, it was on setting five, which is the lowest setting you have, but in order to, curl your feet down like this you have to have it high up on the lowest number setting so that your legs are flat out to curl and clamp like this i completely forgot and there was a lady there that or near near me to my right of me doing a glute exercise you know oh actually no um I can't say, but in rather eye-catching clo clothing for reasons I'm not going to explain. And I was thinking, I, I just I would just go and ask her, how do you how do you use it? I remember her using that exact machine I'm talking about, and I was looking at it saying 45 kg, looking at the not the knob. But the met the metal thing you put into the into the weights, the clip? No, it's not a clip. I I don't know. But yeah, that thing you stick into the weights. It, it was at forty five kg. I was thinking, wow, wow. But I think I I didn't remember that I've uh, lifted similar weights before. But it was that was impressive to me back then when I was in the gym today. <sighs> That, uh, I'd also did some chest exercises before that. Uh, it was, uh, I did 40 kg on a pectoral exercise where you have to really bring your arms together and bring them close by your side to really, uh, activate your chest, but, or to activate my chest, but, um, in my mind, I'm thinking of saying it just, it wasn't all that. That's not true. I actually like the challenge. But it's just that I wasn't this is I wasn't necessarily who am I falling? I wasn't really in the state of mind to to exercise. It did help though. It did help. Training. Uh I I experienced uh an increase in energy levels a bit, which meant that I made myself feel less sad and feel less angry over this financial predicament i'm currently in which seems like i'm going to very soon solve it could be quicker than i expect maybe a few weeks who knows like not a joke i genuinely although i'm in this situation 
now, right this instant, doesn't mean that I can't solve it quicker than I expected. I'm saying two months, I'll have I'll have a job, but that could be a few weeks. They might say, well, you said you've got uh, your qualifications coming. Just uh, show us them. Or just let us know when they've uh, when they've come through or something like that. I, I don't know, but I was even unsure. It was like, am I? Do I say that is? Um, I don't know. But regardless of what they say, I'm not gonna go. I'll, I'll be vague. I'll be more vague, as in when I feel the need to. If I if I even talk about it over here, that is anyway. But I'll I'll make a, I'll probably make a video in celebration for when I do get a job which would be the first cash flow that I'd have absolutely no problem having and if I don't like the place I'm working then what I can do is I can go somewhere else it really is as simple as that really is as simple as that and the manager was saying well if you do have spaces open up we can uh you could just get into contact with us and we can see what we could do so it's not like the man said no permanently but yeah um, one of the guys that were working there is saying you're right you're right it seems like it seems like he might want to become um nash you know that's too far man calm down it seems like he he wants to be on friendly terms or wants to speak to me as if we're 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 friends we wrote it seemed like when when he gave me a certain in yeah, when he gave me an induction for the fancy equipment, it didn't seem like he gave a shit. But now he's he's asking me, "Oh, you're right, you're right," with a smile on his face. Maybe it was just because of the mood that he was in today. I I don't know, but what I do know is this: I need to sort my situation out now, now. N O W one exclamation mark. Don't need three. That's a bit over dramatic, but I need to sort it out now. Now, N-O-W, all caps. If I could do caps on the exclamation mark as well, I would. We could we could make it bigger. We could make the, the uh, long line bigger, the long vertical line bigger and the full stop larger, yeah? F fill in the full stop too, colour it in. <sighs> Maybe do one of them drawing books on the ex exclamation mark. That's... that's <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how urgent in my opinion this is this being me needing to sort out my financial situation man yeah that's what's going on uh, maybe in the future I'll be a lot more quiet about my financial situation but it's helping now and um, I can help myself out other ways the comment on the I'll now be able to see my abs in one year was saying be careful of these these MLM multi-level marketing individuals um, and YouTube gurus, he called them. And I'll say to that man, I'm assuming it's a man because it's, it's, a, it's a Benjamin. I don't, I, I don't actually know what the female name for Benjamin is, but I, I came up with Benny, B-E-N-N-I-E, -N -N -I, I, don't, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, um, I'm saying thank you to that man. Thank you. And uh, that, I, if I didn't get that advice from somewhere, even if it were from within, I might have been a lot more likely, and that's minimum, that's at minimum, to go through the financial equivalent of, in my opinion, getting scammed by the fitness industry through the buzzwords as he called it or in my in my wording i'm saying that as if i made the english language or in my opinion mantra to to get abs yeah but anyway this is my situation this is what's going on in a few weeks time i might actually have a job position this isn't a manifestation but it's just a hypothetical situation Look at these Asian words, these big words. I know what they all mean, but yeah, it, it's just the uh, imagined um, scenario in my mind. That, actually, not even in my mind. That I'm just saying out loud. 
that it, it could happen. In a few weeks, I could have finished everything. I could have stopped postponing the coursework and I could have finished everything. Everything. I would have got the um, uh, 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 course related. Course related. I looked as if I looked away when saying that. I'm, I'm not lying, dog. Yeah. This is my situation and I'm going to do what it takes to change. Again, I look, oh my gosh, do I have to be that critical of myself when I say something and I look away from the camera? That means I'm lying. Oh my gosh. Insert real name. Come on. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, do, I do have to tell the truth though. For the sake of or either tell the truth or not say anything at all for the sake of not going against me not going against my integrity my moral code i value honesty um so that means i have to say it and do it or if i don't i'm not only missing forming myself but i'm missing forming other people who are who who might be actually wanting to hear this story both this year 2022 and in the future or maybe even five years down the line wherever i'll be then I, who knows i could be flying planes and helicopters she i would like to i would like to fly it's been in the pipeline ever since i made that major event the, that video i put in the major event playlist saying I found helicopter videos and plane videos on YouTube. I want to be able to travel, man. I want to be able to travel. I had a sheltered, really sheltered childhood. Maybe less sheltered than others, but it was sheltered in my opinion anyway. I wasn't going out for months, potentially. Oh, no, years is, that's ex exaggerated. That's too far, but yeah, potentially months on end. No wonder why I was saying, oh, this place is a shithole when I was growing up as a teenager because I wasn't getting out enough oh you can't I remember um, my parents saying you can't go here you can't go there but that might not be true I don't have any vivid uh, memories of that so that might not actually that might be a invalid claim not necessarily a lie because I don't want to deceive myself especially and maybe other people too but it'd be straight up misinformation and I know that perception can, perception of situations can lie. Or no, not lie, but misinform. For example, when, uh, for example, that I'll see my abs in one year, watch. I thought that's what I said word for word, but it wasn't. And the, the proof's there. The proof's there, I've uploaded it. Uh, it's proof for, and then the title name of that video. I'll see my abs in one year, watch me, uh, with a whole load of quotation marks. Just um, the extra to the sort of quote, the sort of quote mark, which has the two, the two lines at the start and then at the end to say that that was the title of that video there. Yeah. So, um, I am just going to, I'm going to eat. I am... Um, then gonna do what I have to do, but that's that's the gym session, and those are my thoughts on on the mind. I I am not. I don't want to say I will because that might mean I hold it off. I might I might be telling the brain, ah, oh, I will. I'll I'll do it later, not now. But I'm gonna instead say I'm on the way to finishing off everything and getting a job that I could have never dreamed of. Even first, I, I ideally first time after being rejected from this gym I go to. Yeah, this gym I go to, and a minimum, and a minimum of two times, and that's been very harsh. I'm saying a minimum of three times, but the 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 memories are quite blurry. Of being rejected, of being told no, and again after being told no, I I allowed myself to feel calm when the manager at the gym I go to told me no, but when I went back to the quad extensions machine. 
I I felt allowed myself to feel anger I impulsively, but I I was in control. I uh, I was in control the entire time, so I wouldn't even say I snapped out of it. I I realized I remember I remembered that anger could be just as anger, like therapy in a nutshell says, could be a secondary emotion to cover up other emotions like sadness. Sadness is there to help uh, help us to say that we're not doing what we want to do and that needs to be solved. Come on, man. These new, these new tracksuit, these black tracksuit bottoms that I bought recently, the brand, the brand thing is coming off. Oh, wait. Can you see that? Here. Mm. It's coming off. Already. I only bought it recently when I made that um, rambling about getting new clothes video whenever that was a while ago but JD in the live stream was saying well you um, well no not you I as in him can get clothes for like $20 and then they'll last for a month but if I get some clothes from Lululemon they could last me for like 5 years and because he said that and because he's recommended that and because I haven't gone there, i am uh, gone onto that site. I might actually try them out and see. Uh, seeing as I want high quality stuff and I value myself and I value the possessions around me. Maybe that's the that maybe that's the way to go. To not only try out Lululemon just because he said he, he goes to Lululemon. That could be a straight up lie. He might be lying, he might not be. I mean, that'd be quite a thing to lie about. That'd be quite insignificant. But what I'm just saying is it's it's not it's not sensible to take everything as truth but anyway i can try it out at least i could try it out and i could say well i do like this or i don't like this i don't have to get my clothes from nike i don't have to get my clothes from nike i don't have to get my clothes from adidas just because all the rappers are, are, are doing that that could be a part of the grooming process to get into gangs to be fair because they because nike and adidas are well-known brands they're popular brands or at least they're seen as popular brands. Popular meaning millions of people know about them, for example. M many people. Millions plus know about them. And the kids who might not... Like in the Vice documentary, the 18-year-old saying, some of them might not even have food to eat. So they might think, oh, well, he's got the Nike clothes. I've got, I've got these, these shoes that can, that can flap, that can flap about. I've I've oh, I've got holes in my shoes. I I still have holes in my clothes. I have a McKenzie T-shirt which has eight holes in it, eight of them on the front where the brand is. One hole on the brown T-shirt that I have that has a, a who I assume to be a white man's face on it due to how, just um, how he looks, even though the T-shirt's brown. I, uh, oh, it could be stereotyping. I don't think so, but it's just how, how a person looks. You could, you could kind of tell, even if you were a different color, you'd pro probably be able to tell my race. But, uh, so, so I'm certainly not saying that in a racist way, but, um, yeah, that t-shirt has one hole in it. The Mackenzie one has eight in it. Uh, one of my, one, uh, one of the, Joggers, track trackies that I had, had holes in it too, in a ripped back pocket that I showed in the rambling about new clothes video. Yeah. Fuck this way of life, man. That's it. Again, I swore and I don't want to mix, I don't want to gutter mouth, gutter mind or gutter life, but. Seems like without even thinking these thoughts consciously, I'm just allowing myself to speak. That could be what's on the mind subconsciously. Fuck this way of life. I've been, I have been saying that regardless of which words I'd use, regardless of whether I'd swear, look, I don't want this anymore. I don't want this way of life anymore. Where it's not even a financially sensible decision to shop, to do a 30 pound shop. I'm speaking so loud. Maybe other people could hear me, but this is my. 
come on, man, I can't, I can't allow myself to not have this sort of freedom where I can speak my mind in, even in the place I live. Even by, seemingly by myself, the walls could have ears. That's why I'm saying seemingly. Happy done posted this to the whole internet as well. <laughs> also, I can say, oh, I don't want the neighbours to hear me, but then I'm willing to put it on the whole internet for anyone with an internet connection to hear me. I'd... The contradictions. Don't be so hard on yourself, Benjamin, whatever his name said. To him, it might be being hard on myself, but to me, it's just nothing. Nothing consciously. It's the norm. Whatever, I don't, I, I don't have a derogatory view on it or a negative view on it. This is what it, this way of being, what I see as, oh, so maybe I'm contradicting myself here again. What I see as more critical when thinking about it is it's just that, it's not being hard myself, it's not. You should have seen how I acted five years ago. That was, that was, that wasn't just critical, that was harmful. Lit physically harmful. I scratched myself and I'd slap myself. I think I even remember trying to punch myself in the face for not doing schoolwork. My parents didn't beat me, but I'd be doing that to myself. I mean, I, I remember hearing that I, my sisters would get beat, unfortunately, but it's it's justified because my dad got beat by his dad. That's how he got raised. So it's not even, yeah, you could say it's domestic violence. Yeah, you could say it's assault. But in this day and age, it's 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 quite normal in um, households in which people are of West African descent, like me, or West African, or actually West African, yeah. But um, anyway, I'm not I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, it was it was. Uh, it could have been a. It could have been. The act can be abusive, but I don't think my dad had malicious intent. That was just, that was how he was raised. And it's not like back in his day, you'd have these sorts of resources out there, like Healthy Gamer GG or anything like that. I'm not telling myself to not say these things. I'm, I'm just allowing myself to say them. To just tell the truth. So maybe I'm just, I'm just gonna follow that uh, peace of mind, because I, this is the truth, man. This is where I've come from. This is, this is how I've got to this. This is a part. It's a part of how I got to this point where I'm at today, where I'm saying no, I don't want this way of life. I don't want to eat like my parents. I don't want to. I don't want to eat like how my parents have taught me to eat, uh, through what they feed me during my childhood and adolescence too. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to follow in their footsteps in many things. And I think that's okay. If I do have kids, beating them is one of them. I don't want to even think that I'm performing acts of domestic violence onto my children and physical, physical neglect. That's, that's just fact. Physical neglect and harm on, on my kids. It's traditional, it might be traditional too, but just because it's traditional doesn't mean it's healthy, doesn't mean it's constructive, doesn't even necessarily mean it's fair. Th those are all, those all would have at least somewhat subjective um, definitions because people might think of them in different ways. But yeah, I, I know I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I'm not thinking of having kids, at least right now. And if I do, it'll probably be my early to late 40s so that I, I really have lived how I want to live and I've really thought through whether I actually want to have children. Just so that I know what I'm signing up for and I really do like the idea of what I'm signing up for because it's not just a night of having sex, maybe um, sex raw more than once potentially to have two children, but 
it'd be an entire permanent life change. I'd have to, I might, I'd be putting my, my state of my peace, my, my health, I'd be putting my health on the line. I'm not willing to sacrifice that. I'm not willing to sacrifice that for anyone. So, um, yeah, I've got to be very careful with that. But anyway, I think I'll leave it at that because I've got to go check my food, my, my, the chips, my chips, the chips I didn't buy could be, could be burning right now, even though I don't smell them. So anyway, on that note, I'm done and cheers to an amazing future because if I don't sort myself out now, I will, I will, I'll be voluntarily declining the state of my health. Anyway, I'm done and, um, see what I'll get up to tomorrow and let's see when I've got a job. Peace. Even during these lowest times in my life, in my adult life, in terms of my financial state, I have hope. I have hope and I really do believe that my future is bright because I'm showing awareness, first of all, by knowing, having having an approximate idea as to how much is, uh, how much I have to my name. And fr from that, I could say, yeah, I don't want this anymore. I'm not trying to avoid it. I'm not trying to avoid improving. So um, actually, speaking of, I've got to go and act on those words by completing the course and get my qualification. So yeah, any, anyway, yeah, I, I do believe that my future's bright, even in these times. <sighs> and least I can feel at peace knowing that I'm, I really am heading in the direction I want to head in. Not will, not will be doing that. Not I'm going to do that. I am every single day, bit by bit, even if it doesn't look like it. And even if sometimes I might not have done as much as I would have liked, I can set limits to like how I do with how much, how many grams of food I eat for the most part now it's just about survival and having food to eat but um yeah i can use that same concept to actually get the coursework done so on that note um, i'm finished i do have hope and i really do believe the future's bright let's see where i'm at one month two months three months six months nine months one year uh two years three four five all the way up to ten and so on i'm at because of these thoughts let's see where my thoughts take me anyway i'm done uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Well, I won't be seeing you in the next one. It's just me. Or so I say. <laughs> maybe the, the, the iPhone's listening. Maybe uh, YouTube's listening with me. But uh, oh, <laughs> stalking me in a sense. But um, yeah. Wherever I'll be, I'll make sure it's where I want to be in completely exceed my expectations like really I'm um, like for example in an amazing house maybe even a mansion if I actually want that but I said I don't want to live in excessive comfort maybe that Porsche SUV maybe being able to speak for, for um maybe like hey who knows seven languages fluently being able to uh fly planes helicopters being able to do all these calisthenics moves that you could see in compilations and showing the truth, the time it took to get there. That's not anger I show in my face, but it's passion. <sighs> so many people could be out here just showing a, a calisthenics transformation in the space of one minute. Oh yeah, three years calisthenics transformation in terms of uh, calisthenics, uh, ability in calisthenics and, and, and body transformation. I'm, I'm going to show what it takes, what, I, what I've had to do to actually get there. Day by day. Not everything. I'm certainly not going to show everything, but at least it will be a more re accurate representation of how long it takes to get to doing many different moves. And like JD said, hey, who knows? Because I've started at this age. Uh, actually, no, I didn't. I started at 20. I might actually, when I'm in terms of chronological age, I'm at his age, might be doing things that people have never seen before. Hey, who knows? Hey, I might have actually formed a group that I've uh, been thinking of forming in my life called uh, the Calisthenics Group, TCG. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Who's, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'm I'm driving really comfortable cars, SUVs. I want to drive in a nice, comfortable house that's not excessively comfortable, that doesn't provide excessive comfort. I mean, riding a motorbike, got a bicycle, could do wheelies, just everything that I could have ever dreamed of I'm doing. Anyway, I'm... I'm done and I'm going to make all of that happen. I'll do what it takes. And it starts here. Actually, no, tell a lie. It started, that. no, that's not a lie. It's misinformation. It started a long time ago, ever since.
those food journals and or actually no ever since i made the decision to quit porn and ever since at six, at, at 16 and ever since at the same age at 16 during a levels i said to myself that i'm going to keep i'm going to i'm going to be as honest as i possibly can be that honesty my honesty i've now built boundaries around my honesty but i'll still keep it with me for as long as i live and i'll keep my integrity for as long as i live some things might happen which i think why did i do that but at least i'll be able to live my life knowing that i've lived it honestly at least even if it's for the most part honestly i lived it honestly at least for the most part like 99 percent. <laughs> anyway um i'm done and let's see where i'm at in the future one uh, one month have i got the job have i got a, or a job not their job a job have i got a gym instructing job have i got in in a place i want to have it in or in an environment that i want to be in do i think it, it helps do i think it's, it's beneficial do i think i'm really really learning do i want to be there um and have i have i have i exceeded my expectations have i the expectations i've given have i maybe i'm speaking 10 languages fluently maybe i'm able to speak 10 languages flu fluently rather than seven hey maybe i have my own airplane hangar hey maybe i maybe i maybe i have a mansion who knows maybe i want that maybe i don't think i'd live in excessive comfort from that maybe I'm just living in the place I want to live, in an area I want to live, with friends I want to have, both male and female. Don't know what that was, but um, oh, it looks like some some fancy technology. But yeah, anyway, I'm done, and uh, let's see where I'm at in the future. Have I exceeded my expectations? I don't know, but I do know this. I will get far and I'll make sure of that. I was thinking of swearing there by using the F word, but I don't need to. Control. I'll get that by control, not by just allowing myself to live loosely and speak loosely by swearing excessively. Anyway, I'm out. I'm done. And cheers to an amazing future, man. Peace.